the the thing of it is, is I got home at two forty six, yeah, well, and I put my 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 grooming materials in my bag. That's why I messaged you. I know I did. Saying. I forgot because Patrick, I was under this. Oh bring my your god! Rain gear. You said you're not my mom. I know. Now what? I acknowledge now you're that. Now you get wet. I know, but let me finish. There's nothing to finish. It's like the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> yeah, there's something to finish. I got home at two forty six. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I put my my essentials in my bag, like for you Rain know scraping. No. Your essentials. Scraping the barnacles off my teeth, contacts, that kind of stuff. Uh, Put that in the bag. I get a, a, a phone call. I'm letting, on my way. Yeah, I was letting you know I was on my way. Right. You know right. it takes me time. I'm under this immense there. pressure because if I'm not in the car by 3, it's 3.05, things come unglued. Yeah. So, and then now I realize that I was under that amount of pressure. I didn't even grab my rain jacket. You know what I expect of you? Uh, ain't no surprise. Hey, welcome back to another Minnesota Chop. <laughs> the motions were high. We are uh, once again in the truck. I'm once again with Crafty Chronicles, Mr. Andrew Kraft. And uh, it was a tough choice this weekend. It was. We were torn. Torn between two great options. Yeah, we were going to... The original plan was to head south and fish Mille Lacs and fish for smallmouth and eat one. That's coming. Don't hate me. They're edible. Anyway, or option B, and that's what we're doing now, is we're going to head the opposite direction. We're going to go fish the Rainy River for lake sturgeon and walleyes. And we've been getting some insider information on at least the, the sturgeon are on fire. Well, not, t you know, literally on fire, but they're biting good. Some of the lingo we use. Is that not true? That the bite's good? Yeah. Yeah. Second week of September, it always seems to ramp up for whatever reason, and there really isn't a crowd like you get in the spring, so it's a right. win-win. Yeah, well, you know, that's opening a grouse season this weekend. I believe it's ducks, or was grouse was last weekend, wasn't it? I don't know, something like that. Yeah, hunting has begun in northern Minnesota. So the fishing starts to take a little bit of a, at least the, the amount of people fishing kind of takes a little decline until we get that that uh, first little bit of ice that we can walk on. But guys like me, who don't really hunt, just because I love fishing so much, I'll, you know, um, have a little more peaceful out there, a little more opportunity. Um, so that being said, we're rolling north, hour and a half. Yep, yep. 100 miles. Yep, and I'm sure we'll continue to fight and argue and laugh and crack dirty jokes and all that good stuff, because that's what we do. Um, so, oh, one more thing before I go. We're going to night fish for sturgeon tonight, right? Looking that way or smelling that way? It's the plan. Oh, fired up. I did remember my headlamp, but not the rain gear. Oh, well, soggy Patrick, whatever. See on the river. What else? Not two minutes ago, we're like, oh, man, it ain't even raining that bad. Yeah, I think it's all over there. All in Canada already. Take a look at this. Good times. Well, Crafty there just ran into Steve's uh, Lucky Bay here to grab some crawlers. We already got shiners. But I wanted to take this opportunity right now to, to give a huge shout out to, to Andrew Craft, Crafty Chronicles. I've had a really weird open water season. Um, I think I've said this before in previous videos, but Ellen came came to spend the summer with me because she goes to school in Tennessee and so she spent summers with me and and I'd never had an opportunity to go get my boat she really wasn't she kind of she's six now so she doesn't she's got other interests where before just last year I could take her fishing every day and she loved it but now she's gaining other interests she really didn't want to go fishing so I never really brought the boat over here and then the old Jeep the Jeep just started to fall apart on me uh, so I don't have a tow rig right now and the boat is still sitting at my parents' house. But Crafty, with his heart of gold, man, has been hauling me around. And we've been fishing a lot together, man. And for that, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to have such a good friend as old Crafty Chronicles, man. He's a good dude. Um, definitely go over and check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description. 
go over there, check him out, and subscribe. Definitely do that, man. It's totally worth it. Speak of the devil, here he is now. Sturgeon goodies. We're ready. Sturgeon candy! Oh, yeah. Well, I wasn't lying. We're on the river now. Wind, lightning, thunder, rain. The only thing we're missing are hurricanes, tornadoes, and fire. Who's to know? Who's to know if that won't show up? Sorry, Bob. I'm going to apologize right now for my hairdo. It is what it is. Fishing is more important than having a hairstyle. We're going to cruise down on the river and get up, get set up for sturgeon. I'll go over that gear with you once we get set up. Typical sturgeon setup. Just ball of crawlers. Got three on there. Got a three ounce flat weight. No roll sinker there. We're just going to pitch that baby out. As we sit and wait for a sturgeon bite, the old fishing pack. All right, here. This happens to be a list of the Minnesota Master Angler. Qual Giant out there just jumped off. We're going to look up on a little printout here. Uh, let's see, Lake Sturgeon. I need 54 inches. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I need 54 inches. Minimum length catch and release for a Minnesota Master Angler. I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to be able to pull this off. Crafty is hooked up. Oh, yeah, a little dart. Five minutes, maybe, right? That a boy. Five minutes. Look at that. Sturgy number one. Wow. She's an angry one too. Come here, darling. Yeah, she realized she's hooked now. Gotta be careful with these small ones too, with those razor blades they got on the side of them. Grab it by the tail. Ugh. <laughs> Sweet. God, they're awesome fish. The body armor. Oh, These things yeah. are cool, man. Little fella. Little guy. Five minutes in. Nuts. That's a good sign. Now, if I can just pay attention, go taking pictures of Captain America action figures and maybe I'll catch a fish. Just moved about a hundred yards, two feet shallower now. We're getting nothing but suckers and walleye nibbling, stealing our stealing our crawlers. I know you're all sick of looking at my face, so let's catch a sturgeon. Okay, we got one. Here we go. We're in for the long haul. Oh, I can't get no, I can't get any. I dare tighten this drag. pretty good although it has been a few years since I got one it's not a sucker oh my guts hurt that's a good one yeah. here we go layer out son oh my lord <laughs> You know they're big when they go up river with this current and still torque on her like that. That was too much. Oh my god. She's having her way. She's a good one. Dude, this is a good fish. <laughs> this is a good one. Ah. Yeah, dude, it's it's behind the boat now. I'm gonna yep. bust it. We'll be back. Uh, not yet. Yeah, good. go man she's hefty she's a thick one but we're not quite master angler I think we're a little short 
Oh, <laughs> just slid right out. Look at here we go. Ah. Man, high 40s. I'm bushed. Yeah. All right, man. It's headlamp time. I don't know if you guys can see me or if this is going to be all grainy, but got to do the best I can here with this GoPro. Headlamps are on. Bingo. And it's, uh, it's go time. A little after dark business here now. Just gotten suckers so far, so we're hoping that the big girls come rolling on in. I'm trying not to blind you. I'll shut this thing back off. All right. So here's the deal. I'm holding my headlamp in my hand so you guys can see me, but darkness is rolling in fast, and we're going to hang out here until maybe 9, 10, something like that. And we're hoping that the big, big sturgeon are going to come rolling in after dark, and uh, we can lance into one of those babies. Andrew's got a nice little lantern going on in the back. And uh, yeah, man, it's headlamped. Here we go. <laughs> Did you see it? I saw it. That's 50 plus all day. Oh, I can't. Dude, that was the weirdest, the weirdest bite, man. It was barely doing anything. And I thought I missed it, but apparently she swam right towards me. Got a little tangle in the trolling motor. She's on the other side of the boat. Wrapped around the light. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's that's nighttime fishing though. Oh yeah, she's barking. That's a good one. She's thick too. <laughs> well, crafty here got to see her jump. Oh, I can't do that. Oh man, it's like. Dude, it's like mid 50s on the top end of high. Dude, we're gonna measure this one. We're gonna measure this one. I need the light on me, man. It sucks, I know. Oh. Thing is, I gotta land it. Right, I know. She keeps taking a run up river. We'll get, uh, we'll get back to you here. It's gonna be a little while. Yeah. Number five, right? Number five. Oh my lord. 54 inches. Is that a master? We got it. Master angler for Minnesota. Let's get this big girl back in. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do my best to pick her up. I'm kinda, I'm kinda wiped. Right on the rods. Just roll her over. Roll her over. Ah. There she goes. Oh, turn this off. Is it off? Okay. Here it is. Master Angler from Minnesota. Check it off the list. It's time for me to eat some Frosted Flakes. I'm cashed. Ah. Slime 5. And I love you. Whew. Call my mom. Mom, guess what? I got my master angler sturgeon. I got a 54 incher. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. How do you figure 54 incher weighs? Uh, 45 pounds or so. We're still out on the river. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, posted a picture on Facebook. All right, I love you, Mom. Bye. You know, it's my mom.